peace reflections hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the follow button depending on which platform you are on because you are officially over here with Sarepia. you are officially in with my crew and you already know how we do reflection you know how we do okay now we are here um reading the transcripts of rashad jamal now before we get into these transcripts i got a couple listen for the followers i have a couple ground rules for you okay because i'm letting you know before you get blocked i would hate for you to have to make a whole new account because i know that's what you're gonna do i know that's what you're gonna do okay do not get in the comments if you want to express yourself learn to express yourself through symbols aka emojis don't get in my comments saying some outrageous shit reflection okay because i'm letting you know you're going to get blocked you're going to get blocked i'm not coming we're not going back and forth we're not finna we're not gonna make nobody famous we ain't gonna do none of their reflection what's going to happen is you're going to have to go make a whole another account because i'm gonna block you expeditiously as see i say okay now that we got that out the way because sometimes reflection just because you think it don't mean it needs to be said okay and um i feel like people in the comments they be trying to direct my show they be trying to redirect the show so i have to put those extras who think they direct us i have to put them in the background baby i have to put you in the background if you want to stay in the front of the spaceship then i suggest you y'all get what i'm saying follow these couple one two three ground rules all right now with that being said let me turn the music down in the background let me turn the music down in the background reflection. I hope y'all heard. I hope y'all heard the disclaimer. I don't want to hear nothing talking about the music was up too loud and you didn't hear what I said. Okay, now I'm going to repeat it one more time. If you get in the comments, we're not going back and forth. We're not going to do that. Y'all get what I'm saying. Because reflection. I'm going to block you straight up. You just going to get blocked. I'm listening. Listen, I'm not feeding off nobody energy today. I'm a, I'm already full. <laughs> you heard me? I'm already full. So therefore, reflection, if you got something to say, get in the comments, say what you got to say. But um, listen, if you know it's outrageous, if you know it don't make no sense at all, then just know reflection. If you know you're trying to redirect the agenda reflection, then just know. You may want to use a couple emojis, okay? Because less is always this, all right? So with that being said, Reflection, I just want to say that for the new people. See, the people that already be in my spaceship, they already know. It's these new people that be coming in trying to act like they've been on the spaceship, Reflection, jumping in the comments with a whole lot of nothing to say, okay? So with that being said, I thought I'd just get that out the way before they feel like they done had a sad ass night and I'm, they finna uh, come and direct their energy elsewhere. No, you're going to see sit in your sad ass night okay now we before it gets sadder did i say that reflection you get what i'm saying because karma work like that so with that being said now that we got all that out the way hit the like button hit the subscribe button because you already know what time it is we are over here to do a video talking about the king of the king of the baby now for a lot of people who don't know on the last couple of videos um we have been talking about um, breaking down Rashad Jamal's videos, breaking down his videos and decoding some things that he mean. OK, so with that being said, Reflection, we are over here to look at these transcripts for everyone who don't know who Rashad Jamal is, what's going on with him. Definitely go look it up yourself. OK, but um, for everyone who do know, go on ahead. I'm going to take you into the courtroom, Reflection. We're going to literally get nosy, be a fly on the wall. We're going to get nosy, Reflection. We're going to get nosy, baby. OK, so with that being said we are um today is day one today is day one we in cosmic court now baby y'all know how we do when we get over here in cosmic court okay so with that being said i am going to read the transcripts we're going to do day one this is part one the name of this um transcript is called pocahontas now as we go through the transcripts you will see why i named this particular day pocahontas now i'm actually going to change the names in this um in the transcript as i'm reading the story just um for safety because it was a minor involved in the uh, situation reflection so um i'm going to definitely change the name you always got to be two steps ahead of the game baby listen whenever they think they got a side you got to be two steps ahead of the game okay so since this is a minor that is involved i'm definitely going to change the name so the minor that we're going to be talking about today her name is gabrielle for everyone who are, who is new to my crew you already know 
listen, y'all know our names of people, Gabrielle, in a minute. So the character um, that we're talking about is Gabrielle. Okay, this is the girl from the. This is um the girl from the transcript. Her mother, we gonna name her. Um, let's see, we're going to name her um uh, a mystery. Let's name her a mystery. Okay, so a mystery. I like that name too. A mystery and um Gabrielle. So a mystery who is Rashad Jamal's baby mama. Okay, well, his alleged baby mama. That's a video for another day though. His alleged baby mama. Um, this is who is bringing the charges about to Rashad Jamal. Okay. So this is currently what um Rashad Jamal is currently um locked up for the charges that um a mystery, which is his baby mama, brought to him, okay, brought against him. He was talking about it before he got incarcerated. He was talking about it in a lot of his songs. So you can definitely go and listen to those as well, okay? But let's get down to the nitty and the gritty. Let's get down to receipts reflection, okay? Now I'm finna take you into the courtroom. I'm going to now some stuff I just can't say because we are on the internet, all right. But if you have the transcripts, then you can kind of go and follow along and kind of see what I'm saying and decode as you need to decode, okay? Now I'm starting on page 22, all right. For everyone who don't have the um, transcript, then it really don't matter. Follow along with me. I'm finna take you into the courtroom of day one of the interrogation, the cross examination. Okay. Now this was actually with a mystery's daughter, Gabrielle, the one who um brought the allegations against Rashad Jamal. All right. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, get your get your uh, your recreational, whatever you need to get reflection, because this is gonna be a ride, all right. Now it actually says reflection um day one day one is actually the day where um gabrielle was actually being put on the stand all right now they as she got on the stand they actually asked her what was her birthday she actually said i'm not going to put the year out there but she actually said that her birthday was february the 22nd 222 okay she said that her birthday was february the 22nd now as um i'm not sure if um i don't know where the charges brought up on Rashad Jamal is well February the 22nd or no was it in September or was it February we'll uh we'll figure that out as we go through the court case though okay so they were asking her what is her birthday and she said it was February the 22nd okay and um the cross examiner they asked her so that's February the 22nd and she said yes okay they said well how old are you now she said she's 13 they said how do you like being 13 she gave the typical answers of what it's like to be a 13 year old they asked her how is school well they asked her is she in school and she said that she was in school and they asked her what grade she was in she said she was in the eighth grade this is gabrielle a mystery's daughter who is rashad jamal's um baby mama all right now, they asked her what her favorite subject was. She said that it was reading and um, different things like that, reflection. Now, they also asked her um, what was her, some of her favorite TV shows and movies, okay? They asked her, did she have any favorite TV shows or movies? And she was like, she do. They asked her, what was it? They said, call me the cat, okay? Call me the cat, all right? So, with that being said, reflection, no, call me can't communicate. And they asked her... They were asking her, they said, okay, all right, and what town do you live in? She said the town that she live in. I'm not going to disclose the town that she live in because I just don't feel like this relevant to the case, okay? Now, with that, they asked how long has she stayed there? She said she stayed there for four years, all right? They asked her, did she live in an apartment, a house, and she stated that she lived in an apartment, all right? Now, not only that, she asked who did she live with. She stated that she lived with her mom. They asked her what was her mom's name. She said her mom's name was a mystery, okay? That is Rashad Jamal's baby, alleged baby mama, okay? Now, they asked, did anyone else stay with her? She said, yes, her siblings stayed with her, okay? They asked, what were her siblings' name, okay? She had, um, actually, let's see, one, two, three. If I'm not mistaken, she had four other siblings, um, two sisters, and two brothers, if I'm not mistaken, okay? Let's keep going. And they asked her, um, how old is the, her oldest sister? And she said that her oldest sister is 21 years old, okay? 
and they asked about the next um the next daughter she's 10 okay and they asked about um the baby and the baby is five months which is at the time it was five months all right which is the um allegedly Rashad Jamal's son okay now it is saying they're they're asking her they're just basically trying to figure out who is all in the house to kind of get a groundwork so we know now that she has other siblings that are actually in the house all right so it just isn't her in a house and she's staying in an apartment so you can kind of get a view of the area um that these allegations happened at okay now they asked they asked um gabrielle what things do she like to do with her siblings and of course the typical teenage answer she said that she likes to play games and watch tvs and play basketball okay not only did she say um that they like playing basketball they started to um play different games around the house such as hide and seek and we'll get into that a little bit later now um they also was going through asking which one of the children were was rashad jamal's okay and when they figured out which one was Rashad Jamal, she stated that her youngest brother was um, Rashad Jamal's son. OK, and um, she asked, had Rashad, well, the attorney asked, had Rashad Jamal ever stayed there? And she said, yes, the, the um, prosecutor, I said attorney, the prosecutor actually um, asked after that, well, does he still stay there? And she said, no. OK, and they asked, how long did Rashad Jamal actually stay there? They asked, did she remember? She said she could not remember when was the last time Rashad Jamal stayed there. She couldn't remember how long it was. OK. So they asked her, well, how old were you when Rashad Jamal stayed there? And she said she was around 11 years old. So this incident allegedly happened when she was around 11 years old. OK. Now, it is also said that they wanted to. Um, this is when they are actually just putting in evidence. They're putting in evidence and they actually gave her a picture when these allegations went down reflection to um, write down and circle apart, circle parts of her body that Rashad Jamal, um, that these incidents actually occurred. Okay. So the body parts that she actually circled was her shoulder and, um, her thigh area, her shoulder and her thigh area. Okay. And she circled her hand as well. Now I'm just giving you a visual before we go on. Okay. Now let's keep going. Now the prosecutor asked her, um, well, why did she um, actually circle these parts of her body? And she said, because those were the parts that, um, that had contact. Okay. They had a particular contact. All right. Now they're saying reflection. What they're saying now is they're ask, they're going basically back and forth. They're asking her about the incidents um, and where they actually took place. OK, they're asking her about the incidents and where they took place. But before we talk about the incidents and where they took place, let's get a layout of the apartment. OK, keep in mind they're in an apartment. All right. So. They actually asked her, um, they said, so Gabrielle, I'm going to ask you a little bit about their drawing. It looks like blank. What room is in the top left over there? And she said it was the kitchen. OK. And they asked her, well, what is the kitchen connected to? And she said it's connected to the dining room and the living room. So you have a kitchen and right next to the kitchen is the dining room. And right next to the dining room is the living room. OK. Now they're asking her, well, where are the bedrooms? OK. Now she said the master bedroom, which is where her um where her mom, a mystery and Rashad Jamal slept in, which was called the master bedroom. Okay. Now she actually stated that the master bedroom um could be seen from the dining room area. So if the door was open, this is all very important. If the door was open, then you could see clean through um the master bedroom area. All right. All of this is very important as we're going through the transcripts. All right. So I'm trying to give you a visual of what the apartment actually looked like. Okay, so let's keep going. So they asked her, the master bedroom, has that always been your mom's bedroom? And she said, no. And they asked, well, whose was it before that? And she said it was just an empty room. OK, she said that she's going through basically saying it was just an empty room. OK, so they go through and they asked her, they said, so you said it was your mom and Rashad Jamal's room. And she said, yes. OK, after that, she actually said, was that was when was that when Rashad actually lived there? And she said, yes, it was. Keep in mind, she was 11 when Rashad Jamal um, stayed there. 
Now it says, what about after that? After Rashad Jamal moved out, they're saying that they changed it into her sister's room. Okay. They changed it into her sister's room. And they asked her, who room is it now? And she stated that it is now her room. So all of this is very important reflection as we go through. So there is a master bedroom, a master bedroom that you can see clean through if you are in the dining room or the kitchen area, if the door is open. Okay. Now, after Rashad Jamal left, it became her sister's room. And after her sister's room, it became her room. All of this is key. So let's, um, let's keep going. All right. Let's keep going. So, they went on and they were asking about where is her brother's room and they was asking about where um the baby's room is which is allegedly rashad jamal's son where does he sleep okay and she said that the baby actually slept in the room with um her brother and her sister okay so um she, they asked her has it always been all of their room have they all always slept in their room and she said yes okay she said originally it was actually the baby which was Rashad Jamal's son, and he slept in there with um, a mystery, which is Rashad Jamal's baby mama. But now it was just her sister, and it was her and her brother, okay? So now we got all of that as the backstory, all right? So they went on, and they just started asking questions. They started asking questions um, about the incident. So let's go um, to that reflection. They said, Gabrielle, I want to ask, when Rashad Jamal was living with you, what kind of relationship did you have with him? She said it was a weird one. And she, they asked, they said, okay, did Rashad Jamal call you his daughter? She said, yes. And they asked, how did you feel about that? She said, it, I don't know, because he called all of us there, even though we weren't. Okay, so she said that Rashad Jamal um, called all of them his do you get what I'm saying, their daughters, his children, even though they weren't. Okay, but keep in mind, he was with their mom. Let's keep going. Now, she also said, do you get to see him pretty often? Did you get to see him pretty often? And she said, yes. And um, they said, okay, apart from calling you his daughter, did Rashad Jamal have any other nicknames for you? She said, yes. And they asked, well, what were they? She said Pocahontas. And they asked, well, why did he call you that? And where did it come from? And she said, no. And she said, and they asked, well, did you ever watch a movie together or anything? No, they asked, do you know why he called you that or where it came from? And she stated that she didn't know why Rashad Jamal called her Pocahontas. And keep in mind, this is all going in the question when they asked, um, what type of relationship they had. And she said that it was a weird one. She said, basically, she felt like it was weird because he called her Pocahontas. Let's keep going. Now, it also said, um, did y'all ever watch that movie together or anything? So they asking, okay, well, did y'all ever watch the movie together? And she stated, no, they didn't. This is what she stated. She said, no, they never watched the movie together. Now they said, was there anything that you and Rashad Jamal would do together? She said they would play fight. And the prosecutor, the um, prosecutor went on to ask, when you say play fight, what did that look like? She said, like, it was like play fighting, but not really fighting. They asked, okay, was it wrestling or punching or was it, she answered, like wrestling. They asked, okay, and so you were wrestling, would your body and Rashad Jabal's body ever be touching? She stated, yes. They asked, were there any other games that you played with Rashad Jamal? She said, yes, hide and seek. They said, okay, and how did y'all play hide and seek? She said, one of us would, well, all of us would hide with one person and seek. So it wasn't just one person playing hide and seek is what she's stating that everybody played hide and seek. All of the children would um play hide and seek. So let's keep going. They asked, okay, and when you say all of us, who all would play hide and seek? She said, me and my brother. And they said, and when you hid, would you hide alone or with someone or would you hide with someone else? She said, I would hide alone. They asked, okay, then would someone come and find you? She said, yes. They said, okay, now I know you said Rashad Jamal called you his daughter. Did Rashad have anything that he wanted you to call him? She said, yes. Pops. 
Pops. Okay. And how did you feel about calling him Pops? They asked. It was it was okay, but like we didn't really do nothing. You really didn't know him like that? Yeah. Okay. Did you call him Pops like he asked you to do? Mm-hmm. She answered. Yes. Yes, she answered. Okay, well, all right. Well, Gabriella, I want to ask. Were there ever was there ever a time when Rashad Jamal did anything that make you feel uncomfortable? So this is the prosecutor. Basically, she um she or he they asked um reflection. They were basically sitting a ground trying to see um the relationship between um a mystery's daughter Gabrielle and Rashad Jamal, and basically it sounds like the typical stepfather type of um relationship. He called her pops. Um, I mean, she called him pops. Um, she, he wanted um, the children to call him pops or whatever. And he called them his daughters. And I guess um, the son, he called him his son. Okay, so let's keep going. Now, this is um, this is where things are getting um, a little rocky. So let's see, Reflection. They asked, was there ever a time that Rashad Jamal um, made her feel uncomfortable? And she said there was. And they asked her, well, could you tell us about that? And she said, well, one, one night she was folding clothes. They said, okay. And she said, right. I was in like the dining area and it was a big pile of clothes. So I was just sitting there. And then we started talking to each other and he basically put my hand blank, 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 blank. Keep in mind, we are on YouTube. Okay. So when um they said that, keep in mind, she said she was in the dining area. The master bedroom, which is where Rashad Jamal's, her mom, where her mom, Gabriella's mama, a mystery, and Rashad Jamal slept in. If the door is wide open, you can see clean through the dining room and you can also see through the kitchen. Okay. So let's keep going. She said that she is in the dining room and she was on the floor folding clothes. Okay. And that's when allegedly um, this incident took place, reflection. Okay. Now let's keep going. She, the, they asked, they said, okay. And was anyone there when it happened? And she said, not in the room, no. And they said, okay, you said you were talking. Do you remember what you were talking about? And she said she didn't remember. They asked, and you said he put your hand blink, blink, blink. Was that over or under blink, blink, blink? She said it was over. After that, they asked, okay, and do you remember, was that the first time that something like this ever happened? She stated that this was the first time. They said, okay, you said no one else was in the room. Do you know where other people or you don't know? Were there other people or you don't know? She said, my mom. My mom was in the master's bedroom. Like, and then my brother, I think they were sleeping. So she stated reflection that when this incident went down, her mom was in the master bedroom and her brothers were in their room, I'm guessing, sleeping. Now let's keep going. Hit the like and subscribe button. You're over here with Tarethia and we are just over here looking at transcripts, reflection. We are over here looking at Rashad Jamal's transcripts um, concerning the charges that his baby mama, a mystery, we changed the names, a mystery put um on him okay now this is actually a mystery's daughter gabrielle who is making these um claims and statements so let's listen and see what she has to say okay if you just came in and you missed the disclaimer if you have anything to say in the comments tread lightly or you will get blocked Okay, we're not going back and forth. This is not a debate. This is not your show. This isn't a side show. This is you, you're not an extra, none of that reflection. We are here. I'm here simply giving commentary, and you take with it what you want to. We decode it. So, with that being said, I just want you to know this isn't that type of video. This is not that type of party. So, and if you have a problem with my voice, then I don't know why you even clicked on my page. So, with that being said, let's get back to the transcripts. Now they went on and they was asking basically um, that she was saying that her mom was in the master bedroom and her brothers were sleeping when the incident took place. 
So they went on to ask, okay, so you said that was at nighttime. And she said, uh-huh. They asked, okay, and did Rashad Jamal say anything to you when that happened? And she said, yes. They asked, what did he say? She said that he said, don't be afraid. The rest of it, I can't, I can't say that over here on YouTube, Reflection. We just can't do that, okay? So allegedly after that they asked okay did you say anything to him and she said no after that they asked okay well did you stop how did it stop and she said she moved her hand now after that reflection they went on to ask and did you then get away how did you get away from Rashad Jamal so now they want to know how did it stop she said it stopped by she moved her hand and then it went on to Rashad Jamal um they asked him well how did you get away from Rashad Jamal and she said that she went to her room she said she got up and she just went to her room they went on to ask did you tell your mom about what happened and she stated that she did not tell her mom and they asked why and she said because she was scared okay now they asked why was she scared and she said because that Rashad Jamal had told her that her mom would be mad at her. Allegedly. The prosecutor then asked, and is that something that he said that time or was that a different time? And she said, that is something that he said a different time. Okay. So they asked her, how did it stop? And she said what well, she said. She said, they asked, how did she get away? She said that she went to her room. And she said that she did not tell her mom because she was afraid. Okay, so let's keep going. Now, they said, is this something that he said that time or was that a different time? And she said it was a different time. Okay, now they went on to ask. But even before that, he said that you didn't that you didn't tell your mom. And she said, uh, uh. And they asked, well, all right. And you said that was the first time, like, some, like something something like that happened, or did it happen ever again? And she said it happened again. And they said, well, can you tell us about that? Now, I want you to um, pay attention because it is two incidents where, that we are going to talk about in this video, okay? And you have to pay very close attention to the details that are being um, put out here, Reflection, concerning these two incidents. So we know the first incident allegedly took took place in the dining room area right across from her mother's um master bedroom okay and you can see in the master bedroom it's the door it's open so let's keep going she said there was another incident and they said well let's tell can you tell us about that incident she said it was a time that her mama had went to grill her mama was cooking food and you know how in certain apartments reflection they all have a grill in the apartment okay so she said that her mom was actually cooking hot dogs and um she went out to the grill to check on the food okay and she stated that when she went out to the grill to check on the food before then her and her brother was supposed to go with her mother but they ended up not going because they got in trouble the prosecutor asked her what did they get in trouble for she said she did not remember she said she did not remember um after that reflection she said that they had got in trouble her and her brother and she alleged that Rashad Jamal told her brother to get in um push-up position and stay in push-up position okay so this is where her brother was she was alleging that her mom had went to the grill her brother is outside the um apartment building in push-up position and now it's her and Rashad Jamal in the house allegedly okay now with that being said let's keep going okay now they went on and they asked her so you said Rashad Jamal told your brother to get in push-up push -up position where in the apartment was that do you remember she said it was in the dining area okay so it wasn't outside he was in the dining area keep in mind you have the master bedroom you have the dining room and you have the kitchen all right so she said that he was in push-up position in the house in the dining area all right now they said what happened after he told your brother to get in push-up position she said i think he told me to go to the master bedroom keep in mind if the door is open you can see from the dining room to the master bedroom her brother is in push-up position in the dining room let's keep going now she's saying that at what was the master bedroom and okay and what was in the master bedroom at that time and she said it was just her mom's exercise bike okay now they asked what kind of floors in the bedroom she said it was hardwood floors okay so it's hardwood floors in the master bedroom okay 
And I know you're like, well, why does that matter? Because if you have carpet, you can't hear when you walk on carpet, but you can hear when you walk on certain type of floors reflection. That's just key. OK, so I know a lot of people are like, well, why does it matter what type of floor? Every detail matters. OK, but let's keep going. They went on to ask and you told and he told you to go in there. Did anyone else come in there? She said no. She's. And then they asked, so you were just alone in there? And she said, I was with Rashad. And they went on to say, um, they went on to ask, Rashad went in there too? And she said, yes. They went on to ask, and what happened when y'all were was in the room? And she said the same um, thing happened that happened when um, she was folding clothes. And they went on to ask, did he say why? And he said, and she alleged that the reason why um, she did it was so she could get out of trouble. She alleged that Rashad Jamal told her that if she um, did the same thing that she did last time when she was allegedly folding clothes, that she could get out of trouble. Keep in mind, her brother is in the next room, in the dining room area, in alleged push-up position, okay? Now, they went on to add some um, very graphic things that we cannot um, put on. Um, we cannot put it on this channel. Okay, Reflection. So, basically, after that incident um, happened, let's go on and let's talk about this. They said, did anything happen after that? And they said, and she said, yes. And she said, they asked what happened. She said, he basically, like, told me to close my hand. They said, okay. And she said, different things um, different movements with with the body were going on, okay? Different movements with the body was going on, okay? And this is what she is alleging, okay? This is what she is alleging, all right? They went on to ask, at what point did that stop? And she said, it stopped when um, the volcano erupted. When the volcano erupted, it was no point of even looking at the volcano no more. If you can read in between the lines, reflection, we are on YouTube. We are on YouTube, okay? Now, this is what a mystery's daughter is stating, okay? Now, all of this is very important. I wouldn't put this out, reflection, if it wasn't key. Now, they asked um, after the incident, she said that the they got a towel. He got a towel. He wiped it up off the floor. They asked where, where did the volcano erupt? They said on the floor. After their reflection, she alleged that he got a towel and wiped it up. Okay. They asked, um, this is very key. They asked what actually came out of the volcano. And when they asked what actually came out of the volcano, this is a thing that actually startled me. It startled me, reflection. When they asked, keep in mind at the time, she's 11 years old. When they asked her what came out of the volcano, she gave the scientific name, not the not the um, slang name or none of that. She gave the scientific definition of what that stuff is that came out of that volcano, reflection. And I thought that was very strange for an 11-year-old to know that what that was. Better yet, no, um, keep in mind, reflection, I'm not judging anyone. We all grow up differently, but I played with Barbie dolls. So I was about 14 years old. And even then, reflection, even it's, I believe even, I didn't even know the scientific name for it when I should have knew the scientific name for it, if you get what I'm saying, rather less than when I was 11. So me, I was just thinking, I was like, well, how did she know what that was called? How do you know what that is called? Reflection, that's, that's key one. How do you even know what that is called? Okay, now let's keep going. All of this is key, especially when we get into day two. When we get into day two, this is where things are about to, you're about to start asking, raising a lot of eyebrows, okay? Now, after that, they asked her, they said, what did you do after it happened? She said she went to wash her hands. They asked her, why did you want to wash your hands? She said, because she felt dirty. They said, and after you wash your hands, did Rashad Jamal talk? Did you and Rashad Jamal talk about it at all? She said no. After that, they asked, and what did you do after washing your hands? She said that she did not remember. They went on to ask, and do you remember what Rashad did? She said no. They went on to ask, what then was happening? How did you make it? How did you um how did that make you feel? She said it made her feel bad. They went on to ask, well, why did it make you feel bad? She went on to say, because it was something not right. 
They went on to ask, and while that was going on, did you tell did you tell him to stop? She said no. They went on to ask, why didn't you tell him to stop? She said because she was scared. She they went on to ask, um, and you mentioned earlier there was one time he said that your mom would be mad if you told her. She said yes. They went on to ask, is there something he said this time or that was different? She said after. And they said, okay, after what? They said, she said the whole ordeal. Like he would, this is, like he would say, this is our secret. So, you know, don't tell your mom. They went on to say, and did he say that immediately after this time when the volcano erupted or was this a different time? She went on to say, this was like after that time. She said that this was like after that time. Keep in mind, she said there were only two incidents when they were folding the clothes when she was sitting on the floor, floating in the clothes, and her mom was in the master bedroom. And this time when she was in the master bedroom and her brother was in the dining room area and her mother was outside at the grill, allegedly. Okay, reflection. All of this is very key. Okay, so they asked, were those the only times? And she said, those were the only times. Okay, and they said, after, after the second time, after the second time happened with the volcano erupting, did you tell your mom? So she said no. So she said she didn't tell her mom the first time and she didn't tell her mom the second time when these incidents allegedly happened. OK, now they went on to ask. I was it was like I was scared of my mom being mad at me. Also, it was just like this fear. I don't. Then the prosecutor, I meant the attorney, whoever they asked, did you understand why Rashad was doing these things to you? She said she didn't understand. The prosecutor went on to ask, and did you know, did you now wish that you had told your mom right away? And she said that she do. And they asked, well, how come? She said because she felt like some stuff wouldn't have happened. Okay. Now. Let's um let's go on a little bit reflection. Okay. Let's go on a little bit. Because I want um some of this stuff I can't put on here, but all of this is all of this is key into what's going on. So let's stop for a second. Let's stop and let's talk about a couple of things. All right. Now the testimony of Rashad Jamal's um baby mama, a mystery. This is his her daughter's Gabrielle. This is not Rashad Jamal's daughter. This is not Rashad Jamal's daughter. He moved in with a mystery, and she had children. She already had children. Um, she had a 21 year old, a 11 year old, a son, and she also had a baby with allegedly a baby with Rashad Jamal. Now. Her 11 year old daughter was actually who is who is now 13 at the time of the Well, she's not 13 now, but at the time of the case, she was 13. But at the time this incident went down, allegedly she was 11. OK, now um, they're actually saying on um, reflection that they're asking. They're asking what made her feel uncomfortable. Let's do a summary real quick. They asked her what while Rashad Jamal was staying with her mother, what did he do? that ever made you feel uncomfortable. She started out and she claimed that Rashad Jamal called her Pocahontas. That made her feel uncomfortable that he called her Pocahontas, okay? Now, it, she said it also made her feel uncomfortable that um, he asked her to call her Pops and he wasn't her um, father, okay? Not only did she do it, though, the, all of the other children did it, all right? Now, um, not only that reflection, the incident took place in an apartment complex, an apartment complex um, where we have laid out the foundation of the apartment. OK, we know that there is a master bedroom. We know the master bedroom is connected to the dining room, which the dining room is also connected to the kitchen. OK, we know all of that. We also know that she said it was two incidents. She said it happened once when she was folding clothes in the dining room area. She said it happened again in the master bedroom area. OK, now. Why is all of this key? All of this is very key because when we talk more about this in day two, when she gets cross-examined reflection, the story, I want you to see if the story is still staying the same or if there are some details within the story that you find um, a little bit different. Keep in mind, this is also a minor reflection. This is a minor being put on the stand in front of people okay so 
that's why I said in the comments, do not, if you say some ignorant shit, you will get blocked, okay? You better use an emoji and say whatever it is you got to say. Express what it is you have to express. It's not what you do. It's how you do it, reflection, okay? So, with that being said, we're going to actually come back in part two. And we're going to hear, uh, we're going to hear, we're going to get down to the nitty and the gritty. We had to do, in part one, I wanted to lay down the allegations. I wanted to lay down what was being alleged. I wanted to... I'm very unbiased reflection. A lot of people, I know what they be saying, but at the end of the day, I'm going to put it all out here because one thing about the truth, if the truth is the truth, then the truth going to be the truth. It don't, you don't have to try to um, bend the truth. You don't have to try to even... Even in a big lie, you can always find the truth reflection. You can always find it. You ain't got to say, oh, that got the truth right there. You can find it. You can find it. Even throughout um, all the clouds and illusions, reflection, the sun can still be seen. The sun can still be seen, okay? So with that being said, I want you to take what you want to out of this video. I want you to take what you want to out of this video. Come up with your own conclusions. What do you think is going to happen in day two? Do you think her story is still going to stay the same? Do you think it's still going to stay solid reflection? Or do you think some things are going to change? Okay. Do you, was there anything that um we talked about in this video, in this case, that stood out to you? Now, this is just day one. Keep in mind, this is a 900 page transcript. We just on page 80 reflection. We just on page 80. Okay. So we we're heading straight first into it. OK, so drop in the comments and definitely let me know. Was there anything that you think that stuck out? Is there any um, details that you feel like, um, you know, is there anything that you want to um, state reflection? Something that you just really want to say about um, the case? Maybe it's something that you seen within the transcripts that we did that I'm reading that um, others didn't see. And maybe it was something that you called that everybody else called reflection. OK, so with that being said, remember, we're just over here um, decoding reflection. We're just over here looking at these transcripts because I thought this was very important for the community um, and a lot of people that um love Rashad Jamal, for the people that hate Rashad Jamal, for the people that are indifferent about Rashad Jamal. I just thought that this was very important, okay? Put the details out. Put what was said out, reflection. Put the evidence out and do with it what you want to, okay? Do with it what you want to and come up with your own conclusions, okay? It's one thing assuming things, and it's another thing having... um having the format right there, having the blueprint right there and actually coming up with your own conclusion, coming up with your own idea. Okay. I'm not here to um, make you a believer, believer. I'm not here to make you a believer reflection, but I am here to present the receipts because it would be very unfair for me not to present these receipts. Because you know me, I'm I'm that person. When you come over here telling me about how you feel and what you think, what's my favorite word reflection? What a receipt said. I need a receipt. Give me a receipt. Give me something. Now you can't come over here with just your emotions telling me how you feel and what you think and what it could have should have been reflection. I need a good receipt. Okay. So with that being said, reflection, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me back. We're gonna come back in two days for part two. Reflection. We're coming back in two days for part two. All right. Until next time, I shake.